Hello, Mr. Barton here, and welcome to another exciting, action-packed episode of the GCSE Maths Question of the Week, where every week I pick you out a lovely question that's going to hopefully help you prepare as best as possible for the demands of your GCSE Maths exam. So, this one has been kindly written for diagnostic questions exclusively by the lovely Edexcel. And it's on a topic that's come up year after year on GCSE. It's still on the new GCSE, but students tend to go wrong with it, so I thought it'd be a good one to look at. D is inversely proportional to C. And then we get some info. When C is 280, D is 25. Find the value of D when C is 350. I'll be honest with you, and I'm not saying this uh, to kind of make you feel bad. This is a standard question. Now, by standard, I don't mean easy, but there's no twist in there. It's one of those, do you know the process for doing this? Because if you do, you're going to get it right. If you don't, you're going to get it wrong. So let's go through this nice and slowly. D is inversely proportional to C. D get your proportional sign in there. Now it's not directly proportional, so I'm not gonna write a C here, it's inversely proportional, so I'm gonna put a one over C. So that's my first line, D is inversely proportional to C. If it said inversely proportional to C squared, I'd have a C squared on the bottom. Inversely means write it as one over, the reciprocal, okay. Now my next step is to write that as an equation. So D equals my constant times by C. Okay, so that's the same as doing a constant times by one over C, okay? So K is gonna be my constant of proportion. That's gonna be something I'm gonna to need to work out, all right? Now, what I like to do at this stage, and I always tell my students this, is put a little box around this. As soon as you write your first equation, get a little box around it, because that's gonna be important. We're gonna to return to this box very shortly. Now, what do we know? We know uh, that when C is 280, D is 25. So 25, that's my value of D, is gonna be equal to K. I don't know what that is yet. I'm gonna get that in a minute, over 280. All right. Now, I'm in a position now to work out the value of K. Just gotta make sure I don't mess it up. I'm gonna multiply both sides of my equation, because it is an equation, this, by 280. So I've got 25 times 280. Thank God this is a calculator question, so let's fire up my little calc here. So let's do this. So we've got 25 multiplied by 200 and it, oh, flipping heck. Trigger happy there, 280, 7,000. Let's get that in there. So that's gonna tell me that 7,000 is equal to K or K is equal to 7,000. Well, now I'm gonna to return to my box. And the reason I do it like this is I put a box around it. So I now I've got my value of K. I just rewrite what was in my box, but with my value of K. Well, it would help if <laughs> I tell you what, it would help if I actually write the, wrote the right value of K. Flipping heck. 7,000 divided by C. All right, so now I've got my equation, and that equation is going to help me work out anything I need to. Find the value of D when C is 350. Well, I'm laughing now, right? So D is going to be equal to 7,000. I don't know why I've picked this disgusting colour, over C, which is 350. Do I need my calculator for that? Well, just for a laugh, I think I'm gonna be all righty. You know, if I do 350 times two, I get 700. So I need 10 lots of that. So I reckon it's gonna be 20. Is that one of my answers? Yay. There it is there, 20. All right, but the fun's just getting going here. So don't be switching off just yet. Where do each of these wrong answers come from? Because we can learn loads about these wrong answers. 95, can you see where 95 comes from? Well, 95 for me suggests the students are having a bit of trouble with this. I reckon 95 comes from saying, all right, to get from 280, which is C, uh, in the first part of the question, up to 350, which is C in the second part of the question, you have to add on 70. So why not just add on 70 to D, 25? So do 25 to get that up to, add on 70. 95 and you end up with that but that's not right right that's not how inverse proportion works you've got to get your multiplying factor and so on uh, what about c 7000 that's unlucky right 7000 your value of k so they're close there and you're going to pick up some marks as long as you've shown this level of working if you get to the 7000 k you're going to pick up some marks but that's why i draw the box around things it focuses the attention on what we need to do which is work out the value uh, to set up an equation once we've got the value of k what about d 31.25, well this is an interesting one, right? Imagine this question was a direct proportion question. And we might as well just quickly do this now because it only takes a second. And it's extra practice. And um, feel free to pause the video because um, what I'm gonna ask you to do is solve this if it says D is directly proportional to C. 
Okay, so let's do it. If d is directly proportional to c, we'd get that. So d is equal to k times c. We don't know what k is yet. Put me a little box around that. Uh, now we use our information. When c is 280, d is 25. So we get 25 is equal to 280 times by k. This time I'm going to have to divide by 280. Can't need me calc for this one. So this time if I do 25 divided by 280, I'm going to get 556. So k is good. Oh, flipping heck, my pens. Running out of electronic ink again here. 556. And now if I just work this out here, I get d is equal to 556 times by whatever c is. So if my c is 350, if I just get this up here, and if so I do my k which is 556 times by 350, well then what do I end up with? 31.25. So I reckon this comes from students thinking it is a direct proportion question. So look, proportion is going to be one of those topics that's going to appear on this exam. It could be inverse, it could be direct, it could be set out like this, it could be in a table. You've got to know your technique. Personally, I'm a fan of this, getting the k's involved, and I always put a box around my equation, because then when I work out my k, it just reminds me to come back to my box. But you do it however you like. If you need some practice on proportion, hop on mrbarmaths.com, you've got loads of stuff on there, and then try the rest of this quiz out. Ratio and proportion, you need to nail this for this exam. Okay, and I'll see you for a fresh question of the week next week. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.